working through our fears. And really, when you focus on this great truth, you can work through any fear. You really can. I don't know what tomorrow will bring. All I know is what I have now, right now, right now, right this moment, right this moment, all of you in this room with me, because we are all together. <laughs> we're all together. We may not be physically together, but we're certainly all together. So right now, what's happening? We're all peaceful. We're all together. There's a joy coming up from our heart because all of us are spiritually connected. So there's some kind of emotion, some kind of warmth. So how do you feel now? How do you feel now? You feel good. And when you bring this feeling up constantly, even when we're not in a room like that, kind of remind yourself of this, I'm, I'm not alone. And then you start to remember all, all those people who are far worse off than all of us, far worse off than all of us. Then you feel kind of a bit of relaxation. And then you move from your own feeling of being victimized or your own fear. And then you, you just calm down immediately. But you have to work through it. You can't deny a fear. The more you resist, please understand this. The more you resist the fear, the longer it stays with you. Also, when we have fear, we have the tendency to blame somebody else. Oh, it's because of you that I'm in this situation. It's because of that, it's because of that. And the more we have the tendency to blame somebody else for our fears, the more entrapped we become. We become prisoners of our own mind. But if we watch our fear and we look at it and we accept it, then only we feel relieved and we can relax, accept it. There's nothing else you can do. And when you make friends, I would say make friends with your fear. If you make friends with your fear, then it leaves you. It's just switching this. It's just putting on a switch. Change it from, oh, I have this, I, I can't deal with my anxiety, to, Service. I'm no good to anyone this way. I am no good to this world this way. Just another depressed person, just another person fearful. I am no good to anyone this way. Yes, I'm still fearful, except that I'm fierce, fearful. I'll accept it. I am fearful. I'm not going to die from fear. See, this is what working with fear is. Maybe it it's, it's, doesn't go away completely because we're human and we have these emotions, but you just deal with them, you just work through them, you just, yes, it's not gonna be pleasant. You see, the thing is, we're so good, so good at doing things that are pleasant, but when it comes to doing things that we fear or facing life, facing the future, then we, we kind of shrug away, we, we, we become small, and this causes more fear, more apprehension, more panic. You see, when you have a reason to serve somebody, you also get yourself out of that victim mode. This is, again, why all the spiritual masters say, serve, love, <laughs> give, meditate, purify, realize. They really got it right. It takes you out of your own fear. And then when you get out of your own fear and you see other people, have so many fears that are far worse than yours. And then you go, oh my God, oh, Melanie, get real, get real. And then the fear becomes funny. And that's the next element to working with fears. Laugh at your fears. Don't allow them to make you upset and angry and worried because the first thing you'll do is pick on all your family members and they don't deserve it. Remember, they don't deserve it. The fear is within you. Look at it, make friends with it, and laugh. You got it? Laugh. Oh, there comes my friend the fear again. What do I do? 
<laughs> I'm not going to try and stress out. Deep breaths are the best practice whatsoever. Take a deep breath and stop for a few seconds and be in the moment. Be in the moment right now. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst can happen? I'll die, finish, I'll get another body, no big deal. <laughs> and we never die. Most of our fears and most of our worries are based on really deep, deep within the fear of death. Uh, Sri Patanjali tells us in the Kleshas, clinging to bodily life exists even in the wise. I have a lot of people who come to see me fearing death and dying. And when you work with that fear, which is the, for me one of the greatest fears, all the other fears start to, to also leave you. Why? Because that's the ultimate end game. We're all going to leave this earth one day. Make friends with that. And I tell a lot of people, okay, why don't you read books on death and dying? Become familiar with the words because then the more you become familiar with it, uh, the less fear you have of it. You know, there are fantastic books out there on death and dying and, and then you get comfortable with it. So the fear of death no longer scares you. Also, the more you meditate, you really start to understand deeply, deeply, that you are much more, much more than what you think you are. When you become that witness that watches those thoughts, you know you are not your thoughts. You really know this. And then knowing the knower, and you know the knower is connected to that amazing, energy then you know that when you're scared and when you're in trouble all you have to do is reach out for that Noah that's everywhere omnipresent omniscient everywhere and where do you reach out to everywhere right here because everywhere is here and that is why we read in all the books, when you understand the microcosm, you understand the macrocosm. And this is how we work with our fears. I mean, I can talk about <laughs> this for hours because there's so many ways, there's so many techniques, but really the easiest way is one, connect with your higher self on a daily basis. Two, realize that fear is there to teach us, not to harm us. The three, we need to face them in order to grow. They come to us to teach us. And when we understand that, we can grow. I'd love to read to you a few of the things I wrote down in my own journey through fear, if I may, my book. It's our own fear that stops us from being who we were born to be. You know, I've seen this with so many people in this life. I think they're born to be just like so incredible. I think everybody's born to be so incredible, to be quite honest. And most of the time what I see is they stop themselves. Why? Because of their own fear. Nothing else is stopping them. They go, I can't, I can't because of this and because of that. And I said, you can. The only person stopping you is yourself. Take your time to understand there is nothing to fear. Take your time to understand that. It doesn't happen overnight. Be patient. Third, and this is really helpful practically as well. Think of something elevating whenever you are fearful. What elevates your mind? What makes you happy? What makes you laugh? What makes you feel better about this fear? What helps you think about that? It is the attachment to our thoughts of fear 
that makes us afraid. We are attached to our fears. Many people, when I say to them, say, oh, no, you don't understand. I'm really, you can't do this. I can't do this. And I say to them, you're attached to the I can't. <laughs> don't be attached to the I can't. Can you just try and say, I can and they would say, no, because it's not truthful. I said, really, really, I understand it's not truthful for now. But if you practice it, you get, you'll start to say, I can.